Hello, how are you? I'm well, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming and speaking with me. So, uh, what brought you here? So, I'm from Uganda, and I'm an HIV prevention scientist. And I'm one of the mem people who put the, I'm one of the conference organizers. And so I came here to both uh, look, hear about the latest science, as well as um, organize the conference. Fantastic. How long have you been in the field? Uh, 23 years. 23 years. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, why did you get in your field? Because um, at the time when I was training in medical school in Uganda, AIDS was the number one cause of death. And the hospitals were full of people dying of AIDS. And I wanted to make a difference, which is why I got into the field of HIV prevention. Prevention is better than cure. Yeah, that is uh, a lot of talk amongst a lot of the colleagues right now mm -hmm. is uh, the preventive measures and, right. and being able to help, you know, the public. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the factors uh, from this conference that uh, you're looking forward to bringing back to your community? So we heard a lot about long-acting methods for prevention, things that can be taken, quite as be taken once a month maybe every quarter, and potentially an injection that could be taken once every six months. So for people who don't have access, people who are poor, people who are displaced, now we have a global displacement crisis, the option that somebody can take an injection and be protected for up to six months is great, because you may not have access to a clinic for a very long time. And so people who have been left behind, people who are like migrants, refugees, prisoners, um, sexual minorities, we need to give them a choice of products that they can use to protect themselves from HIV. Why do you think that's important for community, personally speaking? Because globally, HIV is now concentrating in what we call key populations. So, uh, human sex workers, people who inject drugs, gay men and other men who have sex with men, and transgender people. And so, fewer people are carrying a greater burden of HIV. And we need to give them tools to protect themselves. Not telling them what to do, but giving them a choice of things they can choose. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what inspired you to uh, help bring this conference together? I think it's good to bring together the best minds in the world. We cross-pollinate, we rub against each other, rub off against each other. And we learn new things and we share best practices. So I uh, just listening to a talk from Australia. I can learn what's being done in Australia or in Brazil or in Europe or in the United States and take it back. No need to invent the wheel, just get the best practices from everyone else and go do them in your country. Yeah. And uh, what are you looking forward uh, from 2024 after this meeting? Right. To hear that we're making a difference, the number of people with HIV is going down, new HIV infections, and that we're empowering people to protect themselves and live productive and healthy lives free of HIV. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.